Okay, I think I'm just gonna go Air Raider at least for now, because I honestly... Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Venture Soul. I wonder if I can, uh... I wonder if there will be a mod that actually increases player capacity. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Can you imagine if we had, like, five players? Or, like, 20? And they're all Air Raiders? They were all Bike Man? What if everyone was Bike Man? That would be amazing. I would be so happy. Nothing would survive. We'd all just start with heavy artillery and just... Just level the playing field. The final, final boss would roll around that, that great big horror alien in the sky. Oh hey, speaking of. Oh, is it this mission? Oh shoot, I am not, I am not bearing the correct stuff. Why, you are the greenest man. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely brought the, uh... The wrong loadout for this. Hmm. I guess I probably shouldn't destroy M Raider's tower. I'm just gonna kind of vaguely destroy whatever and anything that gets hit in the process, so be it. And then I'm just gonna rely on you guys to finish this mission for me because I am absolutely not using the correct, correct loadout to live or survive or anything. Your game froze immediately. Hmm. Okay, uh, Kix, I think I'm gonna say until we figure out whatever your networking issues are and we can ch test that on an off day. Uh, I might grab Vintersoul instead. Because it might straight up be like a multiplayer, uh, a multiplayer lobby, like, netcode issue more than anything else. Okay, unfortunately those are not based on reload, they're actually based on score, which means I'm a little bit reliant on you guys to survive. Yeah, unfortunately my loadout is absolutely the worst for this kind of mission, but you know what, that's... so be it. Well. Time to bomb everybody into oblivion, because that's how this works. Let's see, did this just get ported over to PC? Yeah, it did. Yeah, so this might seem very familiar to some of you, because you probably saw me play the entire thing before. Uh, the only difference is, this time, it's on PC, which means I have, like, I'm not gonna say perfect accuracy. But my accuracy is considerably, uh, better on PC. Oops, that's that's the wrong that's the wrong button. I mean it seems to hit some of them. I feel kinda bad for the EDF soldiers in my like general vicinity. Probably go get, grab some HP. I'm actually dying here. Okay. I'm just going to be out in a ways and hiding. I can't wait until I actually have the, uh, the better aerial support guns. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I did not bring the correct equipment for this. I mean, luckily those jets actually do manage to do a uh, serious amount of damage as they go by. It's not... Not as like, uh, yeah, it's not as good as I would have liked, but... For an extremely improper build... Rolling into this mission, I will accept what I can. Should probably go grab some more health. Yeah, I should have brought some Zer guns along or something like that, but... Uh, oh well. Oh. Raider, you're down. Well, if we lose this mission, uh, on the plus... Where am I? Where is this? Where? Oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm I am down. Well, if we go down, uh Ventersol, you wanna you wanna be ready to hop in? We should be able to get you very momentarily. 
Let's see, is this a different EDF game? What happened to the gear that made you be able to fly and stuff? I'm playing a different class. I'm currently playing as the Air Raider, which is the, uh, which is most definitely not the, uh... The Air Raider is most definitely not the, uh, not the class for durability and so on and so forth. Ow. Well, that building disappeared in a hurry. I'm just gonna make, like, a hedgehog and roll the hell away. I'm probably going to die here. I think this is originally the mission that convinced me that air raiders might kind of suck. Which is a lie. A damn dirty lie. Okay. Ah. Bad time for this. Damn it. I, I hate it when the camera switches like that, because the enemies are still shooting at you the entire time. And so, like, there were healing items. Emphasis, hard emphasis on were. Well, there goes Acme. All that's left is M Raider. Yeah, I'll bring I'll bring a different. Uh, honestly, I think I will leave. Uh, I'll leave Air Raider behind at least for this one. Why don't we Why don't we actually just retreat? I don't see us winning this with what we've currently got. No, we don't want to re restart mission. I'm just gonna retreat us out. We'll grab uh, We'll grab Vintersoul, who actually has equipment and won't crash, and then we'll uh. Oh, right, retreating doesn't get us anything. Eh, it's fine. Okay, uh, and we already have Vintersoul in. That's perfect. And holy shit, you've been playing this game. All right. And I'll go Fencer. Uh, do I want to grab my can cannons? No, nah, I should probably just grab the uh, hand gatlings more than anything else. Because I more or less want to just, like, aim up and destroy. Okay, so I do have an exoskeleton. Yeah, that's level 8. I guess we'll grab the enhanced exoskeleton. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too too worried about you being over prepared. I would care more about your massive HP total if I hadn't already played this game before and uh like I I personally am planning on on over grinding when I get the chance. How's the power lance? Uh honestly, I can't tell you. <laughs> Like, I've totally forgot what all of the, uh, all the weapons are like, and that's okay. But yeah, if I was playing this for the first time around, I'd, uh... Let's see. If I was playing this for the first time around, I think I'd be a little bit more like, hmm, you know, don't bring the really goofy, powerful stuff. But, I've already got a full series on EDF5, and I mostly just kind of want to get up to Inferno difficulty. I want to get up to the, uh, Great Big Bouncing Balls mission. Maybe? Uh, sort of. The problem is, that one's really good for weapon farming, but until we unlock the, the weapon and armor limits, there's kind of no point to it. Uh, oh well. I can see the loads, load times haven't gotten any better, though. Eh, they got a little bit better. We. We. Okay, so are all the different EDF games chronological or the same concept, different universe? It depends. EDF 4, uh, which is on Steam, is a direct sequel. Whereas EDF uh, 5 is a reboot, and Iron Rain is a reboot alt-universe. Uh, kind of set more in a, a western setup than anything else, if that makes any sense. But generally, reboot, uh, the answer is just, they're reboots. 
of each other. The problem is you can't really have too much plot continuity between them. You kind of could. If they if they really wanted to, they absolutely could make some kind of overarching plot. I just don't think that would actually make that much of a difference. I'm not sure how I want to describe it apart from just like Oh god, these weapons are bad. Maybe I should have brought the uh the light mortars. I just don't do da damage. Oh, God. Actually, I think it's just because these guys do... buttloads of damage? And I'm dead. Wow. Hmm. I don't know. Clearly, I shouldn't have stood in the center of these. I was kind of hoping my hand uh, hand cannons would actually do enough to, to lay some hurt down, but I think I was actually doing better as a... Uh, an air raider in this situation, just dropping... Well, I guess that's my answer. Just go air raider. And possibly... Possibly hide more. Oh. I guess I could use the blast hole spear. Tacky business that it is. Because the one problem is these these uh these Gatling cannons. Barely hit things. I guess, I guess I'm just gonna run around spearing things. Because my mobility is actually pretty good. It's just the question of, can I survive doing so? Okay. The answer is a hard no. Holy crap! What is the range on that? Okay. I don't see any healing items, which is kind of suck. Well, I got a something. And I'm down. Damn it. I tried jumping right over it. No dice. There's not a single healing item in sight. Plenty of armor, but that's about it. Why am I so bad? Can I reload while I'm dead? The answer is no. Oh god, what's going on with my neck? Up oh, and above. Thank you! Wow. That has a hell of a lot more range than I gave it credit for. Well, when in doubt. Please, I really, really don't like when the camera does that. Part of the reason why there's next to no healing items. Everybody else took them. Well, modern no. It's okay. I was gonna try and hide underneath the building, but that was meaningless. I forgot about that. I forgot that it actually shows off the main cannon in this mission. Well, so be it. Hello. I am Captain Useless. 
Share with me your healing bounty. Can't wait until I can actually have some of those speed bonuses here. Oh well. Uh, and in doubt, shoot up. Doesn't seem as effective as I'd like it to be. But we kind of already knew that. Okay. Well. I'm just going to take refuge vaguely under the corpses of my enemies. And just try and blast all spirit as many of them as I can. Until one or some of them hopefully drop healing items. That's one thing I did like about Iron Rain. Oh, hey! Iron Rain uh, did away with the healing item drops. And instead just made it so uh, you just carried healing items with you. And they came at like a slight cost. That... I don't know. It was an okay system. I still think I had... Hmm. Not actually sure which had the which has the better progression system. I like the upgradable gear in this one. Because it genuinely feels better. You know, you find a gun you like, and then it gets an upgrade, and you're like, Oh yeah! That's much better. Yep, I brought the wrong guns. Oh, hey, look! NPCs! They're usually dead by now. Hi, you're mine now. What is... Oh, no, that's... That's one of your guns. Let's see, the Gallites are best for drones. I figured I'd have trouble hitting enemies with the, uh, lights. I guess that was false. No, well, it's fine. I'm gonna be going back to Air Raider after this anyway. Seeing as we've got two winged divers and a fencer, I might as well play my niche. Bleh. Let's see. Class equipment, Air Raider. Okay. So what else do we have? Oh, we have a rapid fire cannon. Uh, let's see. What is that? Reload automatic 9.4 seconds. Perfect. Do we have a vehicle? We do. Hell yeah. You guys are going to like this one. Probably. Eh, some people might. Okay, are we on the right mission? Yeah, we are. What? Ventersoul, stop. <laughs> stop harshing in my class. You don't have to. You have the anime. I have the anime too. I see what you're using. Is it an anime vehicle? Yeah, it's very much an anime vehicle. And we've got two of them this time around. Yeah, after after the stream last night, I, I went and bought all the DLC. Well, not all of the DLC. I think I skipped some of the decoys and, like, one or two of the more useless-looking mechs. But I got... one or two of them. I didn't get the... I didn't get the body pillow. I didn't think I needed it. Ow! Why? Well, 
I guess I just stand here and wait. Eventually, I will have the really good, really good bits for all of this. But for now, I will just make it work. Question. I don't know if that triggered. It's kind of okay. Let's see. Give me my mecha. I wish to do dumb things. You know, I'll admit, I'm not actually sure if I liked the, uh... I liked the idea that the enemies could, um... Would, like aggro on you if you hit them, like if you hit the enemies near them. I found that always to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Not like a huge one. But like, I know for certain runs, I straight up like couldn't hit. Uh, hit like a far away enemy and it was, it was always just a light pain in the ass. Hmm. I probably shouldn't stand next to that. Just send that off. Good luck. Hopefully that'll hit something. It might not. Yeah, okay, that didn't hit anything. It hit like one, maybe. Come on. There you go. Because, yeah, I, I know for a number of these, I'm straight up just standing around being like, please, for the love of something, give me give me a target that I can shoot at. They're all, like, all the way up there. gonna plonk that down. It'll hit something, may maybe? Nope, they seem to have dodged every shot. Okay, what's the, uh, what's the button to drop a mech, by the way? I guess I can look it up while we're here. Settings, uh, let's see, change controls. Air Raider controls. Summon vehicle is Z. Why? Also, sorry, Pyro. Turns out we didn't have, uh, we don't have space right now. Turns out EDF is getting a little bit more popular. I take all the credit, which is good. I'll try and fit you and Jemroth in, uh, another night. And y'all are both here. I'd be more interested in switching people around today, but, uh... I have very limited time today. Anyway, check this out. Pretty anime. Let's see, has it just got machine guns? You know what, grand scheme of things, machine guns are fine. Sorry, correction, it's got bullet hoses. What's the button to... Oh, it's m middle click. Middle click is the fly button. Oh. Well, as usual, you can tell the uh, people working on this have no idea how, to co how a computer works. Anyway, check check these uh, random anime chicks. Bullet Girls Fantasia. Is that a thing? Is that like an actual anime, or is it just something they came up with, because why not? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm probably just ready to go. I don't think I got any new equipment there worth anything. Uh, Light Mortar. Reload time is pretty short. Radius is pretty big. Yeah, let's actually get rid of the rapid-fire cannon in favor of the scout bomber, because 
or yeah, instead of the rapid fire cannon, because rapid fire cannon is kind of slow, and you can only tag one dude with it. This should be good, at least until we can get some more more things. Okay. It is from a game. Just Google it. It's on PS4 too. Oh, huh, yeah. Never heard of it. Ugh. Oh no, do the decoys have exploding clothes? I just I just read chat. Oh no. It's not bad enough to get wandered demonetized, I think. Oh I mean I'm probably not, but it's enough to make me feel shame. Where are these guys? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, that's fine. Be slightly aware that I'm just chucking uh, heavy artillery off into the distance. As is my want. As I want to do. Let's see, there's got to be a better angle than this. I don't know. I can't wait until I get the, uh, the, the considerably better equipment. One problem is I'm very slow compared to the uh, the wing divers on the team. I guess that's fine. Nice part is everybody that's in uh, everybody that's in this this team. Oh hi! Uh, is contributing to my my score total. So I don't actually have to worry about farming it all myself, which means I can be a little bit more egregious with the weapons that I'm utilizing here. It's nice. I guess technically I could also grab like a whole bunch of uh, uh, AI soldiers and have them work for me. Would work. Man, that mortar takes some time to fire. I'm not sure what it was trying to show me. Oh, I see. Just those things. Didn't it take, like, a ridiculously long time in this game before we can actually take down a, um... Like, a single carrier? I think that was the case, actually. Like, for whatever reason, uh... This EDF game, it takes, like, most of... The, most of the game? Like, the first half of the game before you can even so much take down a... A single ship, and it's stupid. Also, I think I'm gonna get rid of this mortar. As much as I like it, it kind of lands real slow. We. Anime. Eh, missed. Let's see, why did I decide to play on normal mode instead of hard? Uh, because I had level zero gear and I was pretty sure it wouldn't go great for me. Uh, we could try hard. It might not be a terrible idea. I mean, I did play through the entirety of EDF on hard. The EDF 5 on hard. I mean, if you guys want to, we can we can crank that uh we can crank it up for for next round. I have no qualms about this. I think it's better for our armor armor totals too. Like hard mode gets you slightly more and some other things. Hmm. 
if you could just blow up one of the, uh... One of the ships preemptively. If you were fast enough at and had a good enough gun. Probably not. It'd be kind of an amazing, uh, like, dialogue change. Like, if the if the plot would, would change. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, how cool would it be if you could have, like, an Into the Breach plotline for EDF? Where, like... It actually branches based on, like, when you game over and stuff. But it's actually, like... Not locked to one difficulty mode, but it scales too hard. And the moment you die, you actually, like, go back to the very be beginning or something, and it branches based on, like, what you kill, when and where and whatnot. Eh, it'd be okay. Okay, yeah, let's let's try let's try hard mode. We should be able to do it. It's not terrible. Uh, let's see, select mission, wedge of destruction. Uh, room settings? Room settings, there we go. It's slightly different, uh, depending on the EDF game you're playing. All right, and uh, you know what? Let's switch away from the light mortar. I like the light mortar, but scout bomber might actually be better. And, uh, yeah, this will go, this will go well. Oh, class equipment. Do I have any... DLC items that I can roll? No, because the Caliban, the other Caliban that I have... Hmm. Yeah, the other Caliban I have is, uh, level 12. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out in the back and hope, uh, my heavy artillery is good enough to, to carry us through. Or at least partly through. At least somewhat, somewhere, eh, it'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> that picture of the people in the back of the APC. That poor fencer just looks really uncomfortable. And, like... God, their knees must hurt sitting there. Also, thank you, Citizen Kane, for the 13-month resub. <laughs> nice fella. <laughs> wow. Well. I don't actually see where the enemies are, so I'm just gonna carpet bomb- Oh, right! This is one of these. I'm just gonna carpet bomb the vague area. I apologize if this ends up with you guys getting smokered. That is a cool weapon. That that homing. What is that, by the way? Because I usually don't roll wing divers, so I I don't necessarily know that one. But it seems extremely effective, given the situation. Let's see. It's a grenade. You can press. You can press uh, T, by the way, to chat. Uh, let's see. I guess Acme, you're the only one I don't think I've seen chat so far. But I don't know. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that disco ball of death looks great. What do we have? There it is. Make like a sonic and roll. Slowly. Early. Whoops, I think I just tagged a civilian. <laughs> Let near. Okay. Yeah, it's not one of the ones I've used before. I, like I said, I usually stay away from Wing Diver. But, uh, it seems pretty rad. At least that one does. Whoops. 
I meant to aim that one, but you know what? It's okay. I'll take what I can get. Man, it is really nice having four people on a squad here. Because uh, I don't actually have to worry about collecting stuff, which is really nice. And yeah, I think I'm going to roll APC in the future. I like the mecha, but considering how much faster everybody else is, it's probably best that I just roll... Uh... Oh, I guess I'll summon my mech anyway. This looks like it might get a bit uh, sticky. I apologize if you're in the sh uh, shooting gallery. There's just spiders everywhere. The only spider is a very dead spider. Or the only good spider is a very dead spider. I'm not great at that quote. Yeah, it's so nice playing this with other people because they just pick up all the loot for you. It's so good. Yeah. I do really wish the, uh, the mecha could turn into, like, a, a vehicle mode to get a little bit further. Like, to traverse the world faster. Because as much as I like the mecha in this game, good lord, they're sluggish. I like, it, they totally look like the kind of mecha that could, um... They totally look like the kind of mecha that, that could, like... Yeah, do uh, Xenoblade X, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X style movement. God, can you imagine if Monolith Soft made a uh, made a proper EDF game? That would be fantastic. It would probably also put these guys out of, well, probably put them, put them out of the business. Well. This thing's immediately out of juice. But it did take out the t tower, so I'll, I'll call it close enough. Okay. I am just gonna try and eliminate spiders from my general vicinity. Luckily, that scout bomber is still pretty effective. Not your building. I'm sorry. Your building was a necessary sacrifice for my... my safety. As there were spiders vaguely nearby. <laughs> I mean, we won. You guys look fine. Plus, look at all these other buildings for you. I don't like how much ammo you get. What? The fact... <laughs> the fact that I have too much ammo? Oh, that's some good stuff. So, ooh, request gunships. Rocket Cannon B. Uh, Auto Cannon A. Yes. Oh, too little ammo. Ah, uh, just wait, man. I mean, it depends on what class you're rolling, but, uh... I... I might have the the right gear for this. Uh, let's see, ra no, 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 not Ranger. A Raider. Okay. Okay, so I've got... Rocket Cannon... Yeah, Rocket Cannon B. One shot, be two beacon capacity, that should be good. What else do we got? Do we have any other new new toys here? We do have a high-speed missile group, but two-minute reload time? Mm.
Let's see. Honestly, I think I'm going to stick with these. Do we have a new... Yes, we do have a new mecha. We do also have the Depth Crawler, and we've got a tank. Probably going to roll the tank just to get around because it's a little bit faster. At least, hopefully, a bit faster. Yeah, the tank is ass, but it's faster than a mech, and all I really need to do is get around. I love the blade motorcycle the ranger gets his DLC. Yeah, I saw that. I'm I'm looking forward to messing around with that. Unfortunately, that's like a really low tier thing, if I remember right. Like, I want to see just how fast does this go. Yeah, it's pretty fast. This should be pretty good. I apologize, but I just got the the weapon of mass... Uh, I was going to say deforestation, but it's really just de-buildings. Not really an easy way to do this. So, uh. Ooh. Oh. It survived that. That's bad. That's vaguely bad. Luckily, none of the red ants seem particularly interested in my general existence here, which is really nice. Because I can just say goodbye, all those guys. And I will just be here. Let's see, where's my rocket? There's my rockets. Yeah, you know what? I will admit the rocket cannon's a little unsatisfying, but it's also one of those where it gets it gets better. There's my tank. There's my tank. And yet yeah, the tank is ass. Holy shit! This tank is ass. You can only fire it every once in a while, and boy, does it not fire much. Ow. Ow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a bad place to be. Oh. It survived that. I am dead. I didn't realize there was an ant sneaking up on me from behind. God, these suckers are durable. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go back to uh, destroying this entire valley and hoping for the best. And then I will keep hoping that I get a much more tremendous setup. It is a lot nicer also having other people to come pick you up when you when you get got by a red ant. As a major difference between uh well, I guess my last couple playthroughs of this and then it's still alive, isn't it? Ah oh, man. These rocket cannons that you think they'd be great. And they're probably pretty good. It's just not the same. Oh, we'll see when I get the the more powerful things. Is that it? Are we good? There we go. I'm surprised the NPCs survived this. Okay, what did I get? Uh, ooh, I got the Nagling. I got the Nagling. That's a good feeling. 
That'll be fun. I, I like the Nagling because it's relatively fast compared to most weapons. And, uh, hits a lot of dudes. Which is kind of nice. Okay, and I'm good to go. Oh, looks like it's a bunch of flying saucers. Maybe, 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 maybe instead of... Instead of this... Uh, instead of the Scout Bomber, I'm gonna bring on at least a Z-Gut. Man, I don't want to, though. They suck. But I'm not really sure if I have anything better. So, Z-Gun it is, and the Nagling. I mean, the Nagling's perfect for this. 